Yo, everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Assignment Operators, and this is the one where we're going to wrap up our section on PHP operators. This one's a very useful one, so pay attention. In your Code Dynamic Websites course files folder, we are in 18, Assignment Operators. In your code editor, make sure to open up the final and practice.php files in the Assignment Operators folder and your code dynamic websites course files folder. As usual, practice.php is our sandbox. Final.php is the final example. Final example looks like this. We have a series of assignment operators and some values that we're using our PHP to get that result. So let's jump into the lecture. Assignment operators assign values from the right argument to the left argument, usually in the form of variables. The basic assignment operator we've used a lot is the equal sign, which assigns the value on the right to the variable on the left. Here's a table of more assignment operators. So we have the assignment, same as, and description. The first one is the addition assignment operator. So the plus sign and the equal sign. It is the same as a equals a plus b. So this is a shorter way of doing the same thing as this. The next one is the subtraction assignment operator. It looks like A minus equals B, which is the same as A equals A minus B. Third one is the multiplication assignment operator. A times equals B, which is the same as A equals A times B. Fourth division, A divided by equals B, which is the same as A equals A divided by B. Modulus. The funny little modulus, A, modulus equals B, same as A equals A, modulus B. And last but not least, concatenation, A dot equals B. It's the same as A equals A dot B, dot meaning concatenate. Hopefully that made sense. So here's an example of how to use one of the above operators. So PHP script, variable A equals 71, variable B is 36. A minus equals b. If you echo that, you get 35 because 71 minus 36 is 35. The reason why I know that is because PHP told me. All right, code editor time. All right, add your title and your constants and variables and all that sort of good stuff. And uh, make sure to add them here in the useful places. By now, this should just be boring and simple for you. You should be a pro at this. You might even be fast forwarding this part because you've already done it all beforehand or something, or maybe not. That's cool too. No worries. PHP echo lesson num. All right. Whoops. Down at the bottom, we got our year. PHP echo date year. Perfect. Name. PHP echo my name. Perfect. Sandbox time. All right, start off with our addition assignment operator. Let's add some variables. We got A equals 30, B equals 50, and then let's go A plus equals, or the addition assignment operator, B. So basically, this adds B and A together and re assigns the it's really hard to speak and type the exact same time value to a adds b and a together reassigns the value to a so if i were to echo that echo a let's check it out in the practice.php example addition assignment operator 80 because 50 plus 30 is 80. And we did that by just going uh, A, addition assignment operator, B. Reassigns the value to A using some math. Cool. Subtraction assignment operator. Let's add the same variables. I'm just going to copy and paste, save some typing. 30 and 50 for A and B. A is going to be minus equals, or the subtraction assignment operator, B. What does that get us? Echo A. Let's find out. Minus 20, or negative 20, that's because 30 minus 50 is negative 20. Multiplication assignment operator. Let's add our variables. 
30 and 50. You can always change these to whatever numbers you want. I'm just using 30 and 50 because it's simple and consistent. A, multiply equals, or multiplication assignment operator, B. Echo that, what do we get? 1,500, because 30 times 50 is 1,500. You're so smart, PHP. All right, division assignment operator. We're going to do the same variables, 30 and 50. A, divide, equal, or division assignment operator, B. Echo, A, what do we get? 0.6, because 30 divided by 50 is 0.6. Modulus assignment operator, 30 and 50. A, modulus equals B. And that is going to get us 30, because 30 modulus 50 is 30. Uh, I don't really know how that happens, but PHP is right. Concatenation assignment operator. This one we've touched on in the last lecture. A is equal to hola, and B is equal to mi amigos. And then A, concatenation assignment operator. B, echo A. What do we get? Hola, mi amigos. So I kind of zipped through that one because they're just some fairly simple examples, but these are very useful operators. All of these assignment operators, you're gonna be using them, and I encourage you to try and experiment with how you can use these when you're coding a dynamic PHP website, because you can be efficient with your coding when you use these types of assignment operators. If you, if you can minimize 10 lines down to eight lines, or if you can min minimize 100 lines down to 60 lines, that's that's really good. That saves you time and it saves uh, it makes the program run faster. It's good coding practice and that's kind of how you can use these operators, these assignment operators. It helps you be more efficient and smart with your PHP coding. Hang in there because in the next lecture, we're going to be diving into a whole new section called PHP loops. And uh, Sounds kind of fun, so let's check it out. See you there.